we're dealing with some quiet conditions out there right. today, but it's going to warm up. I know you yeah. said you don't like the heat. I mean, not this time of year. Yeah, I know. I mean, just, I want some summer heat, but just not started in at fall. the end of September here to be 85 or 90. I know. It's not going oh. to be fun these next couple of but days. But it doesn't last long. It does not okay. last long, yes. Yeah, so we'll deal with the heat for at least leading up until the weekend, even though we are dealing with some patchy fog this morning. We will warm up later on this afternoon, though. Again, mid to upper 80s. Could see some of those low 90s make a return heading on into Friday and Saturday as well. But that's about as long as the heat will stick around. We'll see a weak cold front that'll move move through on Sunday that will drop our temperatures just slightly heading on into the start of the week and a stronger front looks to move through as we head into next week. That'll definitely give us more of those fall like temperatures that we have been seeing or wanting these past couple of days. But clear skies and calm conditions as we look over Manhattan as well as Lawrence. Well, slight breezes out there. We can see that on top of the Oread there. But as far as visibility goes, this patchy fog definitely favoring low lying areas, but reducing visibility down for Burlington and look just over a mile, three miles of visibility for Lawrence. Really not everyone's going to see this fog and it pretty much diminishes as soon as the sun starts to rise later on this morning. Again, favoring our southern and eastern counties and we'll eventually see that burn off he heading on into mid morning. But temperatures out there across the state upper 50s, low 60s. Our northwestern counties definitely dealing with some low 60s like Concordia at 63, Marysville at 61 degrees this morning. Junction City and Hiawatha 60 on the dot. Set us up for a warm afternoon, but even with this heat, we're not dealing with high humidity levels. Dew points will stay in these mid to upper 50s, so only a bit humid in spots. And that's about as good as it's going to get, so not necessarily dealing with those high heat index values, but we will be dealing with the warmer temperatures. Lots of sunshine today as temperatures climb into those upper 80s. Again, winds will start to pick up, but we'll hold on to this heat for the next couple of days. Upper 80s, maybe even low 90s for some of our western counties. That looks to potentially stick around heading on into Saturday as well. But that may be the only last couple of days that we really deal with this heat, maybe for quite some time. We will see these winds pick up later on today from the southwest, about 5 to maybe 15 miles an hour in spots. And we'll hold on to those quicker breezes heading on into Friday and Saturday as well. More 15 to 20 coming straight from the south for Friday and leading on into Saturday morning. So we'll have some breezes to kind of help with that heat as this ridge continues to build out just to our west. That's what's been keeping us quiet over the last several days. We've had these ridges building and that's going to continue on for the weekend as well, keeping us quiet with really no rain chances on tap. So we'll see the sunshine later on today as we climb into the mid to upper 80s, just shy of 90 degrees heading on into Friday. Some spots could make it into the low 90s heading on into Saturday as well. A weak cold front will move through on Sunday. That'll drop us down relatively around average for this time of year in the low 80s, but it won't be until we head on into next week when we start to see our overnight lows return into those 50s and afternoon highs start to make it back down into those mid 60s. So fall is out ahead of us and we'll see those cooler temperatures heading on into the start of October.